Hey guys, it's Mr. B here again. Thank you for checking out my brand new PowerPoint game. I know it's been a while, but I hope you guys will enjoy this new PowerPoint game. This one is called Attack on Titan. I'll be showing you guys how to play this game and how to edit uh, this particular PowerPoint game to match your lesson as well. So I hope that you can watch this video until the end to learn how to do that. Also, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you can get the latest materials when I put them up on this channel. Also, I want to say a big huge thank you to all the subscribers, viewers, and contributors. Without you guys, this channel wouldn't be possible. Alright, so this is the new Attack on Titan PowerPoint game. And on um, this particular PowerPoint game has three levels. And I'll show you how to um, edit your QA for the level. Um, right now, there's only um, QAs on slide number eight. So here, if you scroll down here, uh, you'll see the extra QA slide to edit here to copy and paste. So you click on that. You have your um, question and answer and picture here where you can edit. I recommend that you edit everything on slide 11. Uh, right now there are only 30 questions, but I'll show you how to create more questions and answer as well. So um, you can read through this later and um, figure out how to do it, or you can watch this video to learn how to do it as well. So here, I've already inserted onto slide number eight, but slide number um, four and number six doesn't have any QA yet. So we'll be adding that in um, later. All right, so let's head over to slide number one here, and we'll click on that. Uh, this is the main um, screen. So here, Attack on Titan. And on the right, we have our options. We have the instructions. Um, this will explain how to use this game and support more projects if you guys want to do that after this. You can visit my channel to check out more awesome PowerPoint games. And this is the start button here. All right, so let's click on instructions here and see how we can play this game. Again, you don't have to follow the exact rules. You play this however way you want. Um, it's really up to you. So click on the purple shield. And when you click on the purple shield, uh, this will bring up the Q&A. Right now, as I mentioned, slide number four and six doesn't have this yet, but we'll add that in later. But slide number eight has it. All right, so let's head over to the purple shield here and click on that. So this will bring up the question slide. To see the answer, just click on the question slide, then click on either the Titan button or the sword button to remove the QA from the screen. If a student answer is wrong, just skip their turn. And if the student's answer is correct, click on the green shield. So this is the green shield here. Um, this only applies to stage three or level three. You have this green shield here to select your character on slide. Um, the first slide, the first stage, or the first level and the second stage, sorry, the first stage and the second stage doesn't have this. It just has the QA. So let's click on this. And this will bring up the character that you can select to defend the wall. You must defend the wall 10 times to win. So this green shield only applies to stage three or level three. Guess incorrect several times will result in a wall breach and the game is over for you. Then just click on the try again button to restart the game. So this PowerPoint game uses a new system that I have been implementing. It uses something called a magic button and it's very random. So uh, you can play this game as many times as you want and the button will always change on you randomly. So you, the students can never guess the pattern because it's always random. And uh, let's click on the start game here to check it out. 
This is the first level or the first stage. Uh, you would paste your QA button in here and your uh, question and answers in here after you edit it. And down here we have one, two, three, four, and five where the students can choose. Again, you would paste the QA into uh, onto this slide. And up here you will get the sword. And if you guess uh, correct ten times, you win. So let's ask a question, and if the student is able to answer, they can choose one. And now they get a sword, so they guess correct. And again, ask them a question, and you can, they can choose a number down here. So let's try number two this time. Number two is wrong. Armin is gone. And let's do it again. How about number three? Or let's try five. That's okay. Again, you would ask your students a question. Now there's now there's two swords up here, so we just need eight more swords to win, or eight more um, hits to win. All right, so let's try number three this time. That one's wrong as well. Again, this game uses a thing, uh, something called a magic. I call it a magic button. It's really, I don't know what you would call it, but I call it the magic button. But um, it's really random, and um, each time you play the game. Um, the button changes over the character, so you never know which one is correct or incorrect. Right, let's try this one. Uh, this one's right. Again, ask the student's question. If they answer right, they can choose one of the characters down there by choosing selecting a number. I usually don't use the the question, the QA um, with my students. Um, I just, I often, I usually ask them directly. I usually ask the questions directly to the students um, depending on what we study for the day or for the lesson and I would just ask them like as a review question but again uh, if you're more comfortable with using questions answers and visuals uh, you're more than welcome to um, edit and paste it into your own game. All right, so we're down to Aaron. Nope, we guessed wrong. Wall breach, try again. So click here. Right, let's try it again. As I mentioned, there's like a magic button on each character and we never know which one is correct or not. So we just have to hurry with this one. Let's try number five. This one's correct. Let's try uh, Levi here. He's also correct. Okay, we gotta hurry. Okay, ask the students a question. All right, let's try Levi again. Awesome. And let's try um, Aaron. Okay, that's good. And let's try this one, Connie. Okay, he's okay. All right, you just need five more swords. Five more hits. All right, that's good. Let's try Levi. Too late. All right. Oh, too late. Let's try this one. All right. Again, you can use this game however way you want. It's really up to you. I recommend using this game for like a like an older class who are familiar with um, Attack on Titan. I wouldn't. I wouldn't recommend using this for like a small small class or a small uh, small student, as it might be a little scary for them. Um, this is more for like an older older class. All right, so we did it. Next level. Click on this. No, no, a, a Titan has entered the city. Again, same as uh, stage stage one or level one. Uh, you have their characters down here. And uh, students get a chance to answer the question. And if they get it correct, you can choose a character down here to try to defend the wall or defend the city. So now we have two swords, we gotta hurry. Again, you can use this however way you want. Um, you can ask the students directly, questions directly, or you can use the uh, Q&A slide, edit that and paste that into the game if you're more comfortable with that as well. I hope you guys are enjoying my PowerPoint games so far. And if you do, don't forget to like, share, and comment. It will really help out this channel a lot. 
And if you guys have any uh, suggestions, ideas, comments, don't forget to leave it down in the comment section below. And I will definitely take a look at that. I have quite a few games that I'm working on right now. Um, I'll try to get them done as soon as possible and uh, put them up on this channel for you guys. All right, so everyone is gone and Aaron is the last character. Actually, Aaron is the special character. Um, he gets actually two chances. Um, he gets, you can knock him out once, but if you knock him out twice, uh, it's game over. So here we have the um, the last stage or the last level. Here's the green button I'm talking about, and here is the question button. So let's click on this question button here, and that'll bring up the question. You can click anywhere on the question, and that will bring up the answer. So click here, and you add your answer down here. And if they get it correct, you can click on the sword on the right, or if they get it wrong, you can click on the titan on the left. Um, they both do the same thing. It'll just remove uh, the Q&A and picture from the screen. So click here. And I'll click on this green attack button here, and it'll bring up the character. We have uh, Mikasa, Eren, Levi, Rainier, and Sasha. So let's click on Sasha here. All right, we defended the wall. We got one sword up there. Click on the QA here. Click on the question to bring up the answer, and then click on the icon here to remove it from the screen. Now let's try Eren. Nope. Unlucky. Oh no, we're getting our wall smashed. All right, let's click here again. And let's click on the question here to bring up the answer. Awesome. All right, and then if they are able to answer correctly, just click here on the sword. And let's click on the green shield here. Now let's try a different character. How about we try Aaron again? All right, cool. All right, so you kind of get the idea. Uh, you click on the purple shield to bring up the question. And you click on the green shield here to bring up the characters. Um, this only applies to this slide. For the first two games, you only have the question button. And then you have at the bottom, you have uh, the numbers to choose from. All right, so just click here. Put on the Titan there. And let's try Levi. Oops, nope. So if you guess wrong several times, the Colossal Titan will smash a wall and you'll have a wall breach and everyone will be doomed. So again, you can play this one on one or with like a small group or a team. And to reward them points, it's really up to you. Um, for me, I usually use this as a team effort. So we have to def we have to all defend the wall. It's not just like one person. We have to defend the wall together. If I'm using this particular PowerPoint game with like one on one with a student, um, again. It's me and the student. We, we both have to try to defend the wall. So the object of this game is to defend the wall, to keep the Titans out of the, out of the city. All right, we're almost there. Let's try uh, this one right here. Sasha, oops. Got a Titan. Mayday, Mayday, we need help immediately. Get in mob oh, no. Try again. All right, so we were unable to defend the wall, game over. All right, let's try it again. And uh, this time we'll go faster. Again, hit the question button here, load up the Q&A, answer correct or incorrect. Click on the icon here, click on the green shield, bring up the characters. Now we can choose a character to defend the wall. Let's try right here. All right, successful. And we just try a few more. So in order to beat any of these, levels you have to successful successfully guess uh correct 10 times so you get 10 swords oops
If you like my PowerPoint game and ideas, and would like to see your own PowerPoint game or ideas on this channel, uh, please don't hesitate to write it down in the comment section below, and I'll uh, definitely take a look at that, and I'll see what I can do. Um, All right, we're almost there. Let's see. Let's try Levi. Oops, that's not right. All right, let's try it again here. So clicking on the green shield will bring up the character, and if you click on the green shield again, that will remove the character from the screen. All right. Oh, a Titan. We gotta be really careful now, because it's getting close to another wall breach. Oops, let's try Levi again. Yep, this one is success. And let's see. Um, let's try. Oops. I think we're getting close. So let's try one more time here. All right, Aaron for the win, maybe. Nope. Because of this. All right, now now let's try Aaron. Oh, did you see that? That was a uh, special ending. So let's click here, and we got the special ending actually. So if you defeat the third stage with Aaron, you get a special ending. And you can change the message here if you want to fit your lesson. Um, this is just like a standard uh, message. But this is the special ending. There's two endings to the game. Um, if you beat it with any other character, uh, you'll get like the, like the standard ending, but if you beat it with Aaron, you get this this little special ending here. So there's two endings here. Uh, you get the the normal ending and then the, like the special ending. All right, so let's head down to slide uh, eleven, and I'll show you how you can add the Q and A onto your game here. So let's go to slide eleven here, and let's uh, open our selection pane. So let's click here and open selection pane. Your selection pane can be located anywhere. Mine's located here. So here we want um, these five things here. Okay. So we have these five things and we want to copy it and paste. Right now there are 30 Q&A. And if you want to make more, just copy and paste um, the five things here. And uh, let's put it here. And once it's aligned correctly, we can give this a name. Let's call it Q31 and answer 31. You can give it whatever you want, but uh, let's just keep it simple here. And then we'll also rename this because it's really important to name everything because you need to find it later when you're animating um, your games. All right, so let's do it again. I'll show you how to do it again. So here we just created the new Q&A and picture. So let's copy it, all right? Copy these five things, copy, paste. So for me, I'm using a MacBook, Command C, Command, Command V. And just grab it and line it up. And let's give it a name. Let's call it 32, answer 32. And you want to do the same thing in the control pane here. So 30. Two and oops, let's see here 32 and let's go down here and we'll also give this a name here 32 all right awesome and now now that we created this we need to open um, animation here click on animation and open your animation pane here and you'll see that the animation is up here now and you want to drag that under the QA button you want to grab this and this from here and just drag it to uh, under the QA button, or you can click on trigger, click here, and then find a QA button and just put it underneath. But if you want to do it this way, you can just drag it, and I'll just drag it all the way to the bottom here. And oops, we missed it. Let's drag it back, and here we are, and just drop it at the bottom here. All right, now we have our new QA all set up. I recommend that you edit everything on this slide first and then paste and then paste it, copy and paste it to your, um, your game. So let's hide everything and just 
open Q, uh, Q1, A1, and picture one, okay? So just these three things. And now let's right click, go to uh, change picture from a file. Let's find an image to insert. All right, let's choose, um, let's choose this one, insert. All right, awesome. Now let's put a question up here. Anything you want, it's really up to you. Let's see, uh, what, what are they doing? Okay, something like that. And the answer would be, um, let's see, they, they are watching TV. Great. All right. Once you edit your Q and A and picture, just click on the little eye icon here. That'll hide everything. And let's go to Q2, A2, and picture two here. Again, change picture from file. Choose an image to insert. Let's pick this one. And let's write a question up here. Let's see. Um, uh, let's write, let's see. Oops. Let's try it again right here. My hand doesn't want to work properly today. What does the woman have in her hand? All right, cool. Now let's uh, put the answer in here. Let's see. She has a filter or an, an AC filter, or air conditioner filter, or a new filter, whatever you want to put for an answer. Let's click on the eye icon here to hide it, and we'll move on to Q3, A3, and P3. And now let's insert an image. All right, let's see. Um, let's put, pick this one. All right, let's see. Hmm. Could be anything here. How about I put uh, how... How does she feel? All right, and we can put here, let's see. Put uh, the woman is angry. Let's see, let's make it, let's keep it simple. She is angry. Good. All right. All right, once you edit your question, picture, and answer, all you have to do is go to um, show all up here. Click that and copy everything and paste it onto your slide. So click on show all and you want to copy everything. Oops, let's make this a little smaller like this. You can copy everything here and we will paste that to the game. Or you can go into the selection pane, click here and scroll all the way to the bottom, hold shift and click at, um, on the last one and that will select everything. And you can either right click, copy and paste, or um, in my case, Command C, Command V. So copy, go to slide four, and just paste it in here. So Command V for me. And you want to do the same thing for this slide right here. And just paste it in. All right, it's looking good. Now we can close everything off here. And we can check it out to see what it looks like. So let's head over to this slide and click play. And let's check it out. Oops, I've got to uh, move the QA button here. It's blocking the character, so that's an easy fix. So let's get out of this by hitting escape. Let's open our selection pane again and let's find it's called a QA button. here, QA button and QA back and the glow here. So these three things you need to move. Or you can just drag your mouse over it and just grab it and move it a little off to the right, just like so. Now hit show all and let's see again and let's play, play this again. Again, you will want to do the same for the slide. All right, let's play it. Let's see. Uh, that looks better. Right, let's click on this. What are they doing? Answer. 
they are watching TV. Correct. Now they can choose a character down here. Let's choose uh, number one. Success. Yes. All right, let's do it again. What does the woman have in her hand? She has a filter. All right, let's click on this. And now they can choose a character down here. Aaron. Good. All right, let's try it one more time. Click on the Q&A button. How does she feel? She's angry. Cool. All right, and let's choose a character here. Armin. Oops. Nope. Let's try this one. Nope. And... Nope. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. All right, so that's how that works. Okay, so you're... Q&A button goes here, you click on that, get your question, click on the question, get your answer. And you choose a character. Alright, I hope you guys enjoy this PowerPoint game and I hope you have fun uh, using it with your students and with your lessons. If you have any questions about this particular PowerPoint game, you can leave it in the comment section below and I'll definitely take a look at that. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe for more awesome PowerPoint games. If you want to help this channel, don't forget to like, share, and comment. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And I wish you the best of luck in your classes.